Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Code Melon. In this video, I'll describe how to protect your sensitive data from third party or prevent your credentials reflecting directly into the code. So for example, in this code, I have mentioned host name, username, database, password, uh, which is very personal to me and I don't want the third party to review this. So what I'll do, I'll install a package .env which will really help me to protect this data. After installing the package, you need to create a file here. Let's create a file by the name .env and it will contain all the variables that you want to store and which is required in the environment. Okay, so the file is created and the package is also installed. So let's see what all things we have. Host, user, database and password. Let's describe here host uh, it is basically local host database just tutorial password which was root and user which was also root Okay, save it. Go to your index.js file and require the package here. const.env equals to require .env and here you need to make some changes. process.env dot host name uh, whatever you have described in your env file host that will come here in user i'll give process dot env dot user here i'm gonna give process dot env dot database similarly here process dot env dot password also to use to use this dot env we need to give dot env dot config it will help us to use this file Save it and now run it. NPN start. Okay, there's something wrong. Let's go to dot env file user. I guess this should be in small letters. Save it. Run it again. Uh, now you can see the connection is established. So in this way we can protect our uh, secret data or the data which we do not want the other party to see. Also it all uh, like it helps you customize your individual working variables. So yeah, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching it. Uh, I hope it was helpful for you and you can also use .env file in this way. Thank you.